March 2016 marks an important milestone as China ratifies the 13th Five-Year Plan, which indicates that China's economy will be driven by more sustainable industries rather than heavy industry and manufacturing. This points to significant changes in doing business with China. The latest Five-Year Plan has been front and center at the fourth annual China Business Conference, hosted by the China-Britain Business Council. When you look at the Chinese economy, you question how important are five-year plans these days. It's not like in the 1950s when everything was coordinated under a centrally planned organisation. But I do think it's important symbolically in, in suggesting the direction of reform. Um, but they don't provide that clear break from the past that was the case in the past. It's more incremental steps forward. But it's still very important for us to see how it actually pans out in the detail. The five-year plan has been the central government's comprehensive blueprints since 1953. It will set out the goals and principles for China's development in the next five years. For a business or investor with China interests, it is important to understand what this means for them during the period of 2016 to 2020. The importance of the innovation、um, within the five-year plan, I think, is. Quite a significant message, and、uh, obviously it signals a change in the industrial makeup of China、um, to move companies up the value curve. So, if there's one single big change, I probably pick that area of innovation. The Three Hundred Five Plan's core goal is to create new jobs, to change our economic engine, to use the traditional economic engine to replace some old engine to replace the new one. 那么这些事情都有机会跟英国来进行合作，包括英国的一些高高科技的一些研究所，包括曼彻斯特大学石墨烯研究中心，我们都在准备跟他们合作。Another key word is new normal, which means the step change of China's economy. The economic growth of China in 2015 has been the slowest in 25 years. In the 13th five-year plan, the economic growth target falls to 6.5 percent. I think everybody more or less recognises that maintaining the very high levels of growth we've seen in the past are simply not sustainable,、They're、economically not sustainable, as well as environmentally not sustainable. So I think it's really a recognition of reality、um, that this has to be the case in the future, and if it has to be the case, how can we best deal with it? So I think it's a pragmatic reflection of the Chinese government that times are changing. So how are we going to deal with these new times? Um, even though, of course, the Chinese economy is going to grow slower, the service sector is growing very strongly, and, and its services, its innovation,、uh, its healthcare, its design, which are some of the great strengths of British business. So, I think for for Britain now is a perfect time、um, to be、uh, engaging with China. With the state visit of President Xi to the UK in October, China and Britain sealed billions deals from last year. The conference has delivered a quite optimistic message that, despite all the challenges China could face in the year, there's still much potential for businesses in both countries to collaborate with. One of the things, and it might have happened with or without the five-year plan, is a shift from the type of Chinese enterprise that is that is coming to the West, and and I think that can、uh, can only be good for Chinese companies, and hopefully it'll only be good for British companies too. Things beyond the five-year plan that are important to look at, Yida、um, Yilu. Um, it is obviously very important. It's opening up new opportunities for Chinese and British companies to work together in countries right around the world.、Um, so I think the overall opportunity is very, very big,、um, and people need to have a global mindset rather than just be focused on bilateral trade and investment.